Hello and welcome to another episode of Starfield. And let us just continue where we left off. Okay. Go to a weird mine and kill a bunch of people. Probably. We shall see. That's a lot. Let's see what we can do. Touchdown imminent. And it's never been a pleasant experience. <laughs> this reminds me of the bunks on a UC Navy ship. Everyone crammed into the smallest... Focus. 
Areas off limits, authorized personnel only. An outbreak? I haven't heard anything about this. Uh, understood. Uh, here's an access card. Good luck. Hey, who let you in here? This is a restricted area. Fine. I'll tell you. We're on a private contract with Infinity LTD. It's for something they call Project Dominion. Dr. Lane and I were instructed to conduct human trials on several... volunteers. So far, only one patient has survived. You're telling me? When Infinity hired us, they said human trial authorization was already underway and we'd have the approvals in a matter of days. The days went by and nothing. Every time we'd ask, it was always just days away, but we kept working. Between the money and potential success, it was easy to tell ourselves that they'd come through. Sean, what the hell is going on here? Who is this? It's moments like these when I think I just need to hear someone say it out loud. Sean spoke the truth. We thought the approval would arrive any day, so we continued with the project. By the time we started to catch on, it was already too late. We were too immersed in the lie. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Those are human lives we're talking about, but you're treating them like data points on a slate. I think you're being a little overdramatic here. No, he's right, Ken. It's what you and I both deserve after going along with this mess. How long have we talked about walking away or refusing to work? We oversaw the death of nine people here, and it may as well be ten. Infinity may have lied to us, but they also paid us well enough that we did nothing. You'd let some stranger like this just ruin our careers? 
Yes, and you're going to let them too. Go ahead, get whatever information you need to take this place and Infinity down. I'll make sure Dr. Lane remains cooperative. I can see how you think I deserve this. I just never thought it'd go this far. to lift off when you are, Captain. Not sure if those Baroon zealots live in space. Restricted areas. Just hand Vina the shipments. Is that my beautiful shipment? You were right about this one, Masako. Looks like it. This should be more than enough. Now I shall excuse myself and get to work on finalizing this prototype. So, what did you learn about CM Station RC1? Hm. Lucas must be desperate if he hired them to collect the Rothesite. Were there any survivors? Good. I may not condone murder, but I refuse to have sympathy for indiscriminate killers like Ecliptic. Especially after massacring innocents working for us. Now, I also had a report that you were spotted at the clinic. I take it you traced the shipment there? I figured it was related. And were you able to determine the purpose of this secure wing? So, it sounds like Lucas has reached a new level of desperation to ensure his future as CEO. To hell with corporations and CEOs and profit margins. People have died, and you aren't showing the least bit of remorse. Ugh. I'll make sure Yuko's team extracts every bit of information they can from the clinic's database on this. Between hiring Ecliptic and unauthorized human trials, we have enough to take Lucas down for good. And with the Rothesite secure, it's almost time for us to make our move. Head up to the executive floor and speak to Dalton. He has an update for you on the Mole's identity. I've called a meeting and I expect you to attend. It's time to put the final plan in motion. Does Miss Calder know you're wandering around up here? will be over if this deal falls through. I've got my eye on you. Good. You're right on time. I re-evaluated all the evidence. It took every resource I had, but the final answer is clear. Ularu is the mole. I had a feeling Imogene wasn't responsible. <sighs> that poor woman. Yes. You made the right call. I've briefed Masako and discussed her plans on handling this. While we both agree Ularu is guilty, we need irrefutable evidence before presenting this to the board. For now, we lead everyone to believe that Imogene was the mole, and the situation was dealt with. 
Must that poor woman's name be continuously dragged through the mud? These nonsensical decisions need to stop. The people we're dealing with will expect nothing less. Masako has tasked Ularu with writing the program to bring down Infinity LTD. We believe she'll take the chance to incriminate Masako within the program. So this could provide the evidence we're looking for. You will be tasked with the assignment to infiltrate Infinity. So before you go, I want you to bring that program to me. Good. Once Ularu believes she's properly deflected any suspicion, I've no doubt she'll be bold enough to hide something within whatever program she writes. Now, let's attend a meeting. There's something I need to talk to you about. Ever since we talked about the Battle of Cassiopeia, I can't get what happened out of my mind. Was it that obvious? Oh, I thought I could handle these memories, but until I return to Cassiopeia, I'll never be able to put this to rest. I would like that. Actually, I need that. One problem, though. Pinpointing the crew's shuttle wreckage is going to be like trying to find a grain of salt in a sandbox. I think we need to start by locating my old campsite on Cassiopeia 1. What's there to tell? I survived. My crew didn't. Still, oh, I'll never forget my finger hovering over that launch button. Would I launch safely, or explode into a fireball? It turned out that my shuttle had just enough power to allow an emergency landing on the planet's surface. I wouldn't call what I did a soft landing. But thank you, all the same. Hold on. I don't know the exact location of my survival campsite. For that, we are going to have to head to Mast and see if we can get the information from my old friend, Admiral Logan. Your instincts are right on target. Logan and I butted heads more than once during my time with the Navigator Corps. We've never seen eye to eye. Look, I hope this isn't asking too much. Last thing I want to do is drag you into some kind of personal crusade. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. I really needed a laugh. Truth is, I'm scared. When I set foot on Cassiopeia, I don't know if I'll be able to handle what I find. Ah, oh, if I begin to fall apart, I'm going to need someone who can keep my spirits up. I know you will. You've always been there when I've needed your help. Why you continue to support me, uh, I'll never understand. I... I don't know what to say. Ah, oh, I've been so busy searching the stars for answers. I've overlooked what's been in front of me all this time. True love. Something I've seriously considered sharing with you for a long time. I'm just... not ready. Not yet. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. Hey, um... Anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I know you have a lot to do. I really appreciate your offer to visit Cassiopeia. Hopefully, it'll bring me the closure that I've needed for far too long.
We called you all together to discuss a recent security breach. We discovered a mole within the company who leaked vital information about Project Dominion to Infinity LTD. You've got to be kidding me. Just don't tell me it's Vina. I think we've all noticed she's not here. Before you speculate any further, no, it's not Vina. The guilty party is Imogene Salzo, much to my disappointment. Our operative here obtained the evidence to confirm it. Dalton, how does something like this happen? Imogene is highly trained. Ularu can even speak to that. We demand the best. So that's the threat we deal with. I may have well-trained operatives, but security is your responsibility, Dalton. This is a huge failing on your part. I accept the responsibility, but let's not forget. The mole has already been exposed and dealt with. Of course, thanks to another of my operatives. Watch me. Imogene's been dealt with, so bickering is pointless. All I care about is reacquiring our property and what this might be costing us financially. Vina is completing the internal NeuroAmp prototype as we speak. Our operative will receive the implant, infiltrate Infinity LTD, and obtain any and all research. I have it on good authority, the experimentations they've done to replicate the missing pieces of our work have resulted in fatalities. I can't imagine the mess their legal department has on their hands. If I may make a suggestion, we should give this evidence to David at SSNN. It's the best neutral method of releasing this information to the general public. That'd make my job easier. David it is, then. Masako, the internal neuroamp is ready if you want to send down the candidate. I hope you're ready for this. And that's precisely why I know we can count on you. Vina will be waiting for you in the Neuroamp division in R&D. Once you're done, meet me in my office. Be ready to discuss the details of your next assignment. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Yes, what? Double check those measurements are right. Anesthesia always makes me nervous. Ah. Here's my lucky candidate. I hope you're ready to embark on one amazing journey. Yes, I always love a willing subject. Now, just a few details before we begin. Obviously, we'll be putting you under. I'll be making a small incision in the back of your skull where the internal neuroamp will be fitted. The whole procedure should only take three to four hours with little to no downtime afterwards, provided DeMarcus got everything entered correctly. Did I not just say I quadruple check the numbers? You know I'm just giving you a hard time. Besides, I've got to make sure my patient is reassured. Of course, we've got, what, five PhDs between the two of us? Six, but who's counting? All I'm saying is that you're in good hands. Now, just lie down on the table once you're ready, and we should be good to go. All right, let's get this party started. Well, 
well, look who's finally up. The operation was a success, obviously. Once you're able to refocus, let me know how you're doing. So, how are you feeling? You look good? That's exactly what we want. Just a couple quick notes before using the internal neuroamp. First, you can only influence one person at a time. And second, the effect is temporary, so be prepared if you use it in a combat situation. Great. Now let's test this sucker out. Demarcus has graciously volunteered for science, he says. That's the spirit. Demarcus loves being hands-on and experiencing things on his own. It's probably why he's the second most published scientist here, after me. Just head up the stairs nearby to the observation deck. I have performed a cursory scan of your final site. You are currently... I wasn't expecting to cliff dive today.
I don't get it. Why does it not work? Yeah, I know. Why do you not work? Okay. You have the key. I need to use that. Why don't you... I hate all of you. Come on. Is that... Does it not do that? Okay, that is fucking bullshit. Hold on. No, I did it. Weird. On the one hand, I'm fascinated by the incredible technology. On the other, I'm terrified what could happen should this fall into the wrong hands. I've never been Me too. divided about something in all my life. Hello. to describe it one minute i was excited about seeing how the experiment would go the next i had a brief moment of disorientation and figured i must have lost my train of thought it felt eerily natural and yes i admit it just as you predicted i 
knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I can hardly wait to finish writing up my latest dissertation. And you owe me a hundred creds. Nice. I'm keeping myself under constant surveillance now. I'm curious if any other side effects may manifest. So, tell me all about it. How did it feel? Any side effects? Yes! Good. Hear that, Demarcus? That's two for two now. I heard. I heard. It really was fascinating how all I experienced was a moment of disorientation. It's truly remarkable tech. When it comes to your job, you bet it does. Uh, besides, the neural amp is in total control. If a subject's morals or beliefs in something are strong enough, we still see points of failure. That being said, it's been interesting to discover the actions our subjects sanction in their own minds. Okay, okay. As much as I'd love to go over the details and potential of this amazing piece of technology I created, Masako wants to see you. It sounds like you have an assignment to complete. And Demarcus and I have a lot of notes to record. Don't cause any trouble. They know how to make a client feel welcome. Good, you're here. Now that you've been outfitted with the internal neuroamp, it's time to put that tech to work. We're sending you into Infinity LTD. Lucas Drexler is about to learn exactly why you don't steal from Reugen Industries. And wish he shall, every day, while he rots away in prison. All right. Yuko has provided a layout of Infinity LTD. You have two options for this assignment. We'll be providing you with the means for both. Option A, you gain entry through their maintenance access on the roof. Option B, we give you an assigned identity and arrange a meeting for you. Just hope those acting skills don't get you caught or killed. Now, depending on your preference, You'll either find yourself in the maintenance hallway or the marketing department. From there, you have three targets. First, you have Lucas Drexler's computer, located in his office on the executive floor. Second is Faye Sengsavan's computer, in research and development. And third, you need to obtain the prototype they are working on, also in R&D. As you can see, you've several floors to traverse. So I hope you're prepared for an adventure. That's what we're counting on. Now, I had Ularu create a program that you need to run on both Lucas and Faye's computers. I'll let her explain the details. You see, once we expose Infinity LTD, all of their data is going to come under intense scrutiny. We only want the public to know about their mercenary hires and unauthorized human trials, but Project Dominion needs to remain confidential. I've created an overseer program that will gather all the evidence we need, and at the same time delete anything relating to Ryujin and the internal Neuroamp. As our illustrious Genevieve would say, the only good marketing is planned marketing. With tech like that, I can see why you'd want to maintain control of the narrative, though I strongly object to the methods. If the media were to draw their own conclusions, I'm certain they'd just create a panic among people. Controlling the narrative is of the utmost importance. Oh, let's just hope this program is as thorough as you say then, and as safe. Now we don't want to mess on this one. A body count will only distract from what we're trying to accomplish here. In fact, unless they're a master at being one with the shadows, I'd suggest you leave your friend behind. Lower the risk. Simon Rychek provided some useful info on how to evacuate civilians from the building. I'm sure you remember him from Sidonia. Infinity's maintenance crew is understaffed, 
It's only a matter of time before pressure gauges go unchecked and they have a massive issue on their hands. Once that pressure becomes too much, every floor in the building is going to suffer from gas leaks, setting off an automated alarm to evacuate the building. Simon was able to get a passcode for you to access their system's computer, so you can force the heating system to fail. I'd highly advise you use it. This assignment isn't the time to test your abilities. The only thing you're out there to prove is that you can get this job done. We're also issuing you an operative suit. It should help reduce their ability to detect you. These suits are typically reserved for the senior ranks, but we want to reduce as much risk as possible. And that's what we're hoping for. If you can pull this off, even I'll be impressed. Once you've run the Overseer program and obtained the prototype, your final step is to deliver the slate to David Barron at the SSNN field office. If he asks questions, feel free to give him just enough information to pique his interest, but no mention of Ryujin or who you are. SSNN is used to anonymous tips. They'll do whatever verifications they deem necessary on their own to confirm the story. It certainly will, and we'll have front row seats. So, any final questions before you go? Nope. I'm ready. Good luck, and be sure to report directly back to me when you return. Got it. Here's Simon's passcode, your operative suit, the Overseer program, and your cover identity. Got it. Your cover ID card is encoded with roof entry and elevator access. So that's your ticket in, either way. Don't screw this up, Skylar Lumen. Don't wander into any restricted areas. This could be the most. Let's see. With pleasure. So, let's take a look. Aha! The decryptions hit a snag. There's definitely something here. This is exactly what we needed. According to this code, Ularu intended to plant false evidence that would show Masako was working with Lucas. The moment you launched the Overseer program, a series of fabricated communication files would have been uploaded to the Infinity LTD network. One of them even frames Masako for encouraging Lucas to push for early human trials. First Imogene, now Masako. Ularu keeps using people as rungs on the way up the ladder. Any one of us could be next. I'm going to copy the necessary files off this slate and issue you a new one. I want to keep this one intact, so Alaru can't dispute it. All right. Now, we finally have the evidence we need to prove Ularu's guilt. Good. Then let's nail Ularu right to the wall. She deserves everything that's coming her way. Yes. And had you not brought this program to me in the first place, you would have been the one planting the false evidence. Without that falsified evidence, Ularu is in for a big surprise. I fully expect she'll be eagerly awaiting SSNN's broadcast, anticipating Masako to be accused alongside Lucas Drexler. Here's the new slate with the revised Overseer program. Let's get this assignment finished the right way. Don't cause any trouble.
Hey, let me know if we're going to head into the well, so I can watch your back. Ceramorphs. Giant carapace encrusted tanks. You will be scanned as you enter the city. to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. Hello. Did you have an appointment with us today? Ah, yes. From Lumen Interactive. The elevator here will take you to the marketing floor. Once you arrive, you'll want to talk to Ellis Ortiz. He's the receptionist there and will be happy to help you. Welcome to Infinity LTD's marketing department. Desi notified me that you are on your way. Make yourself comfortable. I'll go notify Miss Hart that you are here. Feel free to use any of the facilities on the floor while you wait. The break room and bathrooms are just around the corner.
help you? I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But well, I'll be the judge of that. What's this so-called story about? I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Uh, maybe get you a ticket to... All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Of course. I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. I bet whoever came up with bad news travels fast wasn't taking interstellar distances into account. I've yet to hear anything of note on SSNN. Let's hear your report. Good. David won't be able to resist a story like this. He'll do some preliminary confirmations, which will be enough to get the broadcast out to the public. And how did the NeuroAmp perform? I thought it would be. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Infinity LTD and Lucas Drexler are currently under investigation for a number of violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom, so this gives us the opportunity to win a little more public faith. Quite right. 
The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. Shed any employees? Oh, terminology like that, where you reference manipulating people's lives. Oh, it makes my skin crawl. That's certainly our hope. Any employee with a sense of drive is sure to show themselves. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. I know you can as well, so now you're fully aware of my expectations. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Good. If you use that neuroamp wisely, it will guarantee that Infinity gets shut down. Ah, uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind. This should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Dangerous indeed. For all I know, you're using it right now. The irony. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you're right. The moment a competitor reverse engineers Vina's work, it'll be chaos. The last thing I want is to have my brain scrambled because some engineer didn't do their due diligence. Now if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. How's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the NeuroAmp. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. Fine, fine. Make your case. Damn the negatives. You're right. I really haven't been taking everything into account. You... you really think they could come after me? Well, this conversation's made me feel like a proper monster. But you're right. In a perfect world, tech like this is used for good. But this world is far from perfect. Yeah, I get it, okay? No need to keep rubbing it in. I guess it'll be up to a vote either way. It's not on the meeting agenda, so I assume you'll bring it up yourself? We just have to hope the others will see reason. So the next question is, 
What will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. Well, if it isn't my favorite operative, something I can help you with? You heard correct. I've every reason to believe that Infinity LTD is the Pandora's box of corporations. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. A certain amount of confidence during the negotiations would go a long way in this situation. You're right. Perhaps I am focusing too much on the negatives. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. I couldn't agree more. It should be completely banned from the settled systems. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako is lucky to have you at her disposal, you know? You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. Good on you. Indeed. That technology shouldn't be used for such nefarious purposes. Or in fact, any purposes at all. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? In this business, there's always a side. And right now, I'm backing Masako. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right, I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it.
The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. Of course there is. You just have to know the right way to spin it. As any good marketing person knows, the public doesn't know what they want until we tell them. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. Good talk. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. Being prepared for anything is a great asset, one that Masako excels at. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's only dangerous to those who can't afford one. Hence the added motivation that will bolster sales. The guarantee depends on if we're willing to make the financial commitment to outfitting each employee with at least a shielding component. A cost that's not lost on me as CFO. It's possible. But with Alexis and Genevieve driving the restrictions and presentation of such a product, it's also highly unlikely. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Alright everyone, as you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial, and he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. 
And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely, but this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office and see that she stays put. You'll regret this, all of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right, back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? The internal neuroamp is a yeah, key this... component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next ten years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's right. Regardless of the pros, the cons are too morally and ethically irresponsible to move forward with. Agreed. Not to mention the security risks. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion? Aye. Aye. All against? Nay. We'll start up discussions on how to handle Project Dominion in the future. In the meantime, at least the only person to have one is our own operative. Internal NeuroAmp research will continue. The dangers have been noted. And don't worry, I'm certain between Alexis and Genevieve, any legal or moral issues will be taken care of by the time it goes to market. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. Yeah, worth a shot. I needed more votes. So, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. Worth a shot. I suppose it is. Gratitude isn't something you typically hear these days in the corporate world. I truly appreciate the work you put in to exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. Yes, I'm proud of you as well. Ularu needed to be brought down. If you wouldn't have stopped her, who knows what she would have done next. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your witness. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. And also your opinion. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. I'm actually ending this episode and we're doing uh, the
companion mission next time. I hope. And uh, with this, I'm ending the episode, and I wish you all a good day, and until next time, goodbye.